Hey guys, it's bro you whack and let's talk about the consoles, the console wars, the PlayStation 4 versus the Xbox. And that's just what we're going to be talking about is just the PlayStation 4 and Xbox. And also, let me know what you're getting in the comments below. Are you getting the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One or maybe you're sticking with your PC or Wii with ever whichever one you're getting, let me know. But with keep that in mind because I don't want to hear your arguments about, "Oh, this one's better, the PlayStation 4 is better, the Xbox One is better." because me personally right now at this moment I still haven't decided which one I want to get the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox one I just I haven't decided yet. I haven't fully 169% decided which one I'm gonna get and I've heard every single kind of argument for which one is better up to date right now I've heard every reason for why the PlayStation 4 is better with this this and that and why the Xbox one is better so I've heard it all whatever you're gonna say I've most likely heard it unless Unless Microsoft or Sony comes out with this new update, like recently, the Xbox One uh, just got rid of the DRM and they allowed used games. So, you know, that was a big turning point for a lot of uh, Xbox users going to the PlayStation 4. Not a lot of people liked that about the Xbox, how you weren't going to be able to play used games. But I actually want to talk about that used game thing because, alright, there's actually two things that the Xbox One doesn't appeal to a lot of people. The used games that I just previously talked about and the always having to be online. They, were, they said that they were going to have to check... Uh, you being online every 24 hours, I think, and I don't know if they got rid of that, but I know for sure they got rid of the used game policy. Now, the used game policy, I can kind of see what Xbox was going with that. I can understand why they were going to implement that, because on the PC, one popular thing that they like to do is, uh, is sell games on Steam, and just recently they had a Steam summer sale. They had all sorts of sales, and right now I don't play Steam, but of course I've heard of it, since I am a gamer, of course I'm going to hear all these sales about the Steam Summer Sales and the Winter Summer Sales, so... I heard about all these different kind of games like Borderlands and uh, Far Cry, Skyrim, all sorts of new DLC, tons and tons of games. And one reason why Steam is able to do that is because they don't have to make it into an actual disc. Go sell it to a distributor such as GameStop, Walmart, Target, Case, uh, Smart. I don't even know. But they don't have to sell it to a third party distributioner and have them sell it. They don't have to make a deal for it. They can just have it right on their computer and have them control the sales so that they don't have to distribute it and then you are able just to, just to download it straight from online to your computer and that's one of the big reasons why Steam and Steam Summer Sales and Steam Winter Sales are such a big hit. Well recently Xbox just kind of had their own little Steam Summer Sale. It's like a wannabe sale and I got Orange Box which was actually a really good deal. I got it for five bucks but there are also other different kinds of games. Uh, Assassin's Creed 2 was actually free and I don't know if it's gonna be free for the rest of the year but I know it's free uh, right now and then I think Halo 3 is coming out I'm, I'm not too sure but they're having tons of sales right now and since they did get rid of that uh, use game policy how you weren't able to play used games on the Xbox one there's not gonna really be this steam summer sale there's not gonna be all these kind of uh, it, it, cheaper games for us to buy because the way that Steam is able to ma make their games so much cheaper and have these sales is because they don't have to sell them to like GameStop or Walmart and stuff like that. But since everyone didn't really understand the used game policy in me, I didn't fully know, but I can, but I kind of knew what they were trying to do, and now I kind of fully know what Xbox was trying to do. They were trying to get rid of you know discs and all that, and it's just trying to move forward. And not a lot of people like that. They don't like change. They don't like change. They just don't like it. So they got really mad about uh, um, the DRM and not allowing to use games. But Xbox kind of caved in and said, all right, all right, all right. We'll listen to you. We'll listen to you. Here, you can have used games on the Xbox One. And that was, that was kind of a good turning point for Xbox One. But a lot of people still didn't understand why they were trying to do that. And why they were trying to not allow used games. It's because, you know, they were trying to implement Steam onto the Xbox. Xbox One. But let's actually talk about the always checking on 24 hours, 24 7, always checking to see if you have an internet connection. Because me personally, I'm always connected to the Xbox. Even when I go out of town, even when I go on vacation, I'm somewhat connected to the internet. But I can 
can understand why a lot of people didn't really like that. And I actually agree with a lot of people how that was kind of a bad uh, adding for the Xbox One. I don't really understand why they wanted to add that always having to be online. But me, I'm always connected to an internet source, but not a lot of people are. So that really could hurt their sales. So I think they did get rid of that. I'm not too sure. Maybe you can correct me. But me, I can agree with everyone how that was kind of a bad thing and how I didn't really want that. Everyone should be able to have uh, an Xbox, an Xbox One if they do get an Xbox One, to be able just to play like race car games. Or you know those people that just get like video games just to play like golf or Madden or something? They don't really want to play online. Well, that's one of the reasons. Uh, why Xbox does make a lot of sales because they're able to do that you don't always have to play online But they were trying to make you always connect to an internet source And it was just it was kind of a bad idea and then you heard all sorts of arguments of why it was bad So I think they got rid of it But uh, that's about it for the use games policy and the online feature and Right now, there's still there's still tons of people jumping on the PlayStation 4 bandwagon and saying how the PlayStation 4 is better and all sorts. And listen here, both consoles are gonna be good either way. It's not like you're gonna be in you. If you get the Xbox One, I got mixed up on my words. It's not like if you get the Xbox One and you're gonna go deep in the pits of hell and be burning and all that. No, you're at least gonna have at least an enjoyable time no matter for however long you want to enjoy it. it's not gonna be a terrible console but the PlayStation 4 it looks like it's getting the medal for gaming and all that stuff it looks like it's gonna be beating the Xbox one as terms of gaming as terms of playing online playing single player playing offline whatever it could be it looks like a lot of people are leaning towards the PlayStation 4 because one at e3 they announced that used games was gonna be allowed when Xbox they didn't say they weren't they weren't gonna allow used games, but it was kind of inferred that they didn't want used games on the Xbox One. But PlayStation 4 is like, yo, we got used used games here. GameStop, come hug us. We love you. We love you. Uh, Walmart, Best Buy, we love y'all. So they kind of announced that, yo, we got used games. And also another thing is it's a hundred dollars cheaper. And everyone across the world loves something that's cheaper. Even me, everyone else, Bill Gates, uh, freaking Donald Trump, they love everything cheaper. So uh, that's wh another reason why a lot of people are going for the PlayStation 4. With the Xbox One, the reason why they're making it $500 is because they're also shipping a Kinect with it. And, and also a controller, but that's also the same with the PlayStation 4. It's they're shipping another controller. But they're shipping the Xbox One with the Kinect. And not a lot of people care for the Kinect. I don't care for the Kinect. You most likely don't care for the Kinect. The only people that really do care for the Kinect are people that want to pet virtual animals and that want to go, I, I don't know, canoeing. I don't even know the games for the Kinect. That's how much I don't care for it. So that's another reason why the Xbox One is a lot more expensive. If Xbox, if they got rid of that Kinect, and didn't allow now that's an old thing also another thing why are they making the connect always having to be on like always having to see if you're checking i don't get that they should just get rid of that and I don't know, if you can tell from this commentary, you can tell that I'm leaning more towards the PlayStation 4, but it's just, I, I don't know which one to choose. Xbox One, it's not going to be a miserable wanting to kill myself console, but the PlayStation 4, it looks like it's going to be a more enjoyable time for me as a gamer. And if you're watching this video, more than likely, you are in the same position as me. You're able to play online, or you're able to play video games, and you're a gamer yourself. You like Call of Duty, Minecraft, Battlefield, whatever first person shooter or video game that's on the PlayStation or Xbox you most likely play and more than likely most of you are leaning towards the PlayStation 4 unless most of your friends are going to the Xbox One and you're just kinda you know you wanna go with your friends which I can completely understand a lot of my friends are getting the PlayStation 4 but unless Xbox does some dramatic change to where it's like heaven if you play their console I may go with the PlayStation 4, I just, I don't know, I want to give both consoles a chance, but we'll see towards the end of the year, towards Christmas time, towards October, November, December, around that time, which one I'm going to be getting, and I'll probably make a commentary uh, telling which one I'm going to get, because by that time, I'm most likely going to have to decide. But I'm going to quickly wrap this up. To summarize it, the reason why Xbox was adding that no-use game feature was because they were trying to make Steam.
Steam for the Xbox One. Uh, I'm not too sure about the online thing. Uh, the Kinect is still always having to be online, so it seems, for the Xbox One. PlayStation 4, you don't always have to check in online. You don't always have to um, have something uh, on like in... I don't know what that thing called for the PlayStation that the PlayStation move you don't have to keep that on and all that so that's the quick summarization I know it's been a long commentary but I just felt a little bit chatty about the Xbox one and PlayStation 4 again let me know which one you're getting in the comments below I still don't know which one I'm gonna get fully but right now I'm leaning towards the PlayStation 4 so you might see me on the PlayStation Network in a couple of months we'll just have to see my name is bro you whack and I'm signing off for tonight Right.